In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to work with the results slide in Articulate QuizMaker 360. So when you're working with a quiz, you typically are tracking a score, and then at the end of the quiz, you want to provide a results slide. So that allows the user to see what the passing score was, and then how their score compared to that. So you can provide uh, success or failure type feedback based on uh, how you set the score up. So let's go ahead and look at what we need to do to work with a results slide. So the first thing you want to consider is what your passing score is going to be. Uh, if you're in your quiz maker file here and you go to quiz properties, you'll notice that on the quiz info tab you can set your passing score. So by default it's 80% but you could set it to whatever you want it to be. So we have a passing score of 80%. So the way it's going to work is you, you take your quiz. Uh, when you pass, if you get it at 80%, then you're going to get the success information. If you don't get 80%, you're going to get the failure information. So let's go ahead and figure out how to edit the results slide. So I'm going to hit Cancel here. So uh, we're still in our main production area, and you can see the Edit Results Slide button here. So let's go ahead and click on that. And that's going to open up a slide. And at this point, the results slide, while it has content that's unique to the results slide, the content on the screen is just like anything else. So these things here, it's all pre-built for you. So we're collecting the information. We're going to display it. But all of these things are just text boxes. And uh, this is a picture. And this is a button. And just like anything, you can move those things around and edit them and make them look any way you want to. And you have access to inserting content. So you can insert pictures and shapes and characters and whatnot. Uh, you have design options. You can add your animations. You have the timeline. So anything you would do on any other slide, you can do the same thing with the results slide. So we won't go into a lot of detail there. I will just assume that you know how to work with that. So let's look at what's unique about the results slide though. So the results slide has specific content. So let's look at what that content is. So if you look over here on the right side of the screen, you can see your results slide options. So one of the things is you can work with the feedback master. So you can uh, come up with a unique look for your results slide. We're just using the blank slide, so uh, we just have a clean feedback. If you had a number of templates that you were using, then you would see those on the drop down as we clicked on that. If you want to edit the results slide, the, the way it looks, the master slide, you can go ahead and click on Edit. And that will take you into your feedback masters. And then you can see down here, this one's selected, and this is the one that's being used right now. It's just blank. So let's go ahead and add some content. So we're going to insert a shape. So I'll just insert a rectangle. So we've got our rectangle shape here. And I'm going to close out the slide master. And then you'll see that the slide master is visible here on the results slide. So whatever you put on the slide master is going to be persistent across uh, the results slide. And then another way to edit it is just go up to View, go to Feedback Master, and then you can see it's down here. We're just going to delete the square we just added. And let's go close the master, and now you're back. So you can edit the Feedback Master. You can create custom Feedback Masters, and then you can select those. And then you can determine what type of results slide. Is it graded? Is it survey? And then here are the different options that you can display. So so QuizMaker is collecting this information, and then it's going to make it available for you to display. So one of them is show the user score. Right now we can see it's selected, and you can see uh, that this is here. If we deselect it, you can see that it disappears. And we can select it, and it'll reappear. Now once it's on the screen, it's just a shape. So this is a text box, and I can do with this anything I want to do. So I'm going to uh, take this, and we're going to turn it into orange, and uh, we'll make the text uh, this crimson color. So you can see I've customized the text box. If I turn it off, it's gone. Turn it on, and it's back. So let me go backwards and uh, get this back to where we were at. All right. So once it's on the screen, it's just an editable object. So you can show the user score. You can show the passing score. In this case, 80%. If you didn't want 80%, then um, you can change that to something else. Uh, you can allow the user to review the quiz. Uh, sometimes, you know, if the, especially if the quiz is really long, you may want them to be able to go back and look at what the quiz questions were and what they got right or wrong. So you can enable that here. 
You can allow them to print the results if they need that. And then you can also allow them to retry the quiz. So right now we just have the review quiz button. If I allow them to retry it, you can see that we build a second button for you and then you can determine how many attempts you want to allow for that. And you can turn it on or off. And then again, once these buttons are on the screen, they're just like any shape. You can move them around and, and do whatever you want to. So we won't go into all that detail about customizing the slide because that's just like any other slide. Now again, one of the things unique to the results slide is the way the um, failure and success layers work. You're going to have a base slide here, the base results slide. And you can see there's nothing on it. And then on top of that, you're going to have either the success layer, and that's for those people who get more than 80% because that's what we said is a passing grade. And then you have the failure layer, which is going to show if people don't pass the grade. So you have a success and you have a failure. So whatever you put on the results slide here is going to be persistent. So let's insert a character, for example. So we have these great characters that come with Articulate Quizmaker 360. And we're going to go ahead and choose this Amber character. We'll insert her. Now uh, when I click on success, you can see She's here. If I click on failure, you can see she's here. And that's because she's being pulled in from the bottom here, which is the results slide. So whatever's on the results slide, that's going to be persistent across uh, both of the failure and success layers. Now if I want to make something custom to the success layer, then I would just go to success layer. And let's insert that character again. So we'll insert Amber. And uh, let's say she's going to be happy and she's smiling because you, you succeeded. So we've got our character. We're going to go to the expression and she's really happy. And let's, um, let's see something here. What's a happy expression? We'll give her a thumbs up, right? She's going to give you a thumbs up. Hey, great job. So she's really happy. Let's crop her. And uh, I'm going to do that. And let's make her a little larger. Uh, Bring her down here, we'll make her a little bit larger. And uh, that'll be fine for what we want to do. Let's just go ahead and send her to the back. Once the character is sent to the back, you can go ahead and move things around. So we're going to just uh, move this just so you can kind of see how uh, this would work. I'm going to select all these, drag them over here, right? Um, now, one of the things you'll want to think about with the results screens or that even though you have all this text in here, this is really just our uh, variable so that we know uh, what's being displayed. But the number is usually going to be two or three char or two characters or one character. So it's not going to take up uh, all this space here. So that's just something to keep in mind when you work with your alignment. Um, and then uh, you can get rid of things like, for example, I don't want this, this line here. And um, We'll just move the rest of this stuff over here as well. So we'll say we're happy with this. We'll put the review quiz. Oops, I don't want to move her. Here's a good a good tip. See, I accidentally grabbed her. So go ahead and go to your timeline and choose lock. And now I can't accidentally grab her. And I'm going to grab my results button and I'll just, or review quiz button, and we'll just move it there. So let's say I'm happy with that or I want to move her over a little bit. Right, so I've got a nice positive feedback screen. I'm going to copy her and uh, we'll just go to failure and then I can do the same thing on failure now. Instead of her being happy, I might want to put like a, uh, a different expression so I can select the character, go to design here, and we'll just change the expression to, we'll just say she's alarmed that you actually passed. And of course, we don't want her giving you a thumbs up. So we can. Um, maybe do the hands thing like what the heck's wrong with you and again we can just send this to the back and she's there or you can drag it uh, so uh, the main thing is that whatever you put on the screen you can edit and do layouts custom to whatever you want to do so that's basically it when you're working with the results slide you've got a slide that's like any other slide so you can customize that uh, and then you have these results slide options that you can choose uh, to show or not show. Uh, now one other thing is make sure that you uh, go to your quiz properties and set your passing score. And then I'll show you one last thing. Let's say we come back to our questions tab and you have your edit results slide button. 
Articulate 360 comes with some really nice templates. So with those templates, there are some custom made results slides. So let's go to res Edit Results Slide and we're going to choose Replace. And now I can replace it with one of my custom slides that I downloaded. So let's go ahead and we'll just choose this one's nice and colorful. I'm going to choose that result slide. I'm going to hit Replace Slide. And now I'm going to have that custom result slide that came with uh, that template that's available to me. So let's preview this. And you can see what the result slide looks like. And again, if you want to customize this, for example, let's change the color scheme. Just close that and you come up to the Design tab. And uh, let's, let's look at this so we can see the color. We'll go to Design tab. And you can create a custom theme that matches your organization's brand. We'll just go ahead and change it to Equity. So you can see how uh, that changes when you change your color theme. So that's basically it working with the result slides. Pretty simple. You have a slide and then you have your result slide content. And you can uh, change that, move it around, make it look any way you want to. And you can have a pretty dynamic uh, quiz that way. If you have any other questions, don't hesitate to jump in the community and ask. We're always there to help you. And then watch the other tutorials to learn more about working with Quizmaker.